I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Not keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are looking to buy the cheapest and most reliable Madden coins on the market, head over to buymaddencoins.com. They guarantee a five minute delivery on all purchases and offer 24 7 customer support. Use code MAZE at checkout for 10% off. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are back with part three of the Oakland Raiders ebook. My apologies for not uploading in almost two weeks. Uh, there's not really good reason other than I've been really busy with school. However, I have been streaming on Twitch quite a bit. So if you guys are not following my Twitch, I recommend you do that. If I'm not uploading on YouTube, usually I'll still at a minimum be streaming about once a week. I'll put my Twitch link in the comment section. In other news, if you did catch my stream on Saturday, you would see I was with Throne. Taylor Throne, the man, the myth, the legend. A lot of you guys have been asking for content with Throne, and I was planning on vlogging this weekend with him because we shared uh, an Airbnb at the tournament, but it kind of fell apart. So all I have are some funny clips. I'll play those now. Do it. It's pump fake. Do it. Pump fake. Are they in cover three? They're in stock cover three. I'll throw a cover three beater. Got the beaters on deck. So, uh, this is this is Bucks <laughs> Club Champion Civil. Media training. Absolutely, Media training. absolutely manhandling. Wait, what? I let him manhandle me. Yeah, oh, you let him. I'm two. Omaha, Omaha, I'm two. Omaha. Down. Set. You fucking idiots. Idiots. You're trying to set me down. I'm two. Down, set. Jump. Jump. Up, up, down. Gilmore. That's the second time today Throne has gotten carried by another man. Holy exit, please head over to the patio. The venue is down. Let it out, buddy. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. But as you can see, we had a ton of fun at the tournament. I am expecting to make some more collab videos with Taylor in the coming months. Probably more actually Madden related and not just drinking alcohol, but it will be fun. And as always, guys, before we get into the actual content, we're going to go over the best and the worst comments of the day. The best comment of the day comes from OofGood69, who said, At 1.30, when I showed a picture of me and my girlfriend, Bruh, that's his stepsister. What are you doing, step bro? And the worst comment of the day comes from Connor Springer, who said, His cousin is a babe. Connor, first she was my stepsister, now she's my cousin. Come on, guys, let's keep it consistent. You're embarrassing yourself. Getting into the actual video, I am using the Vikings once again. If this is your first part or first time watching my channel, there is a part one and part two. You should definitely watch those before you watch part three because part three kind of builds off those. This isn't one of those shows where you can pick it up without watching the previous episodes, all right? But anyways, I'm using the Vikings because they have Adam Thielen who has Slot Apprentice. That's all I really care about. If you're running it in Mutt, Torrey Holt gets Slot Apprentice. Ton of other great receivers. Just make sure you get those extra hot routes for your slot receiver. In the first video, I went over I form close. In the second video, I went over strong close, all right? So you should be very comfortable running both of these formations. And in this video, I'm going over I form close slot. This is another typical Oakland formation that you can run and pass out of very well. The reason this is good is because when you run the ball, you're gonna force your opponent to be in a run defense and that's gonna open up a lot of those passing plays. Now, once again, this ties off the first two parts because just like strong close and I form close, you can audible once you're already in the play to I form close slot. So all of these, it doesn't matter what you come out in, you can audible to the other one. So 
Um, that's why I love it so much is because you really have your entire playbook open once you're at the line of scrimmage. It's really great because you can come up to the line, see what defense your opponent's in, see what look he's giving you, and then choose a play based on what you think he's in. So it's almost like you get a chance to re-choose your play, if that makes sense. Anyways, guys, looking at the audibles you're going to want, you got halfback stretch, halfback blast, PA sprint, halfback flat, and PA spot. Now, the bottom three are already base audibles. The only one you're going to add is halfback stretch. So that's really great about this. It's really easy. Just put in stretch at the square. And then as for personnel, you're going to want your slot apprentice who is Adam Thielen on the Vikings. If you're using um, if you're using the Saints, there's Michael Thomas. You could put him here. If you're playing ultimate team, literally any receiver you have that's activated with those extra hot routes, you want him in the slot right here. Now, another thing that's kind of wonky about this formation is I always come out with this flipped. I don't know why it's the same way in a couple other formations in the Oakland Raiders playbook, but you can only motion your slot receiver when the play is flipped. So I come out with it flipped every time. I don't know why that is. I think it might be a glitch, uh, but I always come out with it flipped. Now, I'm just going against a random play on defense, but before we get into the pass plays, I kind of want to give you guys a few tips on the run plays and how to run them more effectively. So when I'm running the ball, it's either going to be a stretch or a halfback blast. Obviously, stretch is going to be the outside. Blast is going to be if they're weak, if they're lacking some interior help with the linebackers at the second level or anything like that. Here, I like the way it looks on stretch to the left. You can see there's not much help on the outside, so that's what I'm going to call. And then Thielen is always going to be my motion guy to help with blocking. So I move Thielen over, motion him over. You see the guy stays with him. That didn't really help me in the numbers game, but it's still probably going to be, uh, help me with the blocking. You see, we get to the outside, we get a big gain there. That's exactly what we needed. And online, it's literally that simple. You see what your opponent comes out in if you're planning on running the ball. Here, you can see the linebackers are down in the A-gap. There's not really much help in the second level. So I'm going to run blast and hopefully get past that first level and get a bigger gain. Here, I'm going to motion Thielen in for extra interior blocking. And we do exactly what we thought, and we get another big gain. So that's as simple as the read it needs to be. There's not much more I'm going to say on it, guys. Just look at what the defense is giving you. This is a pretty balanced look here. I would go stretch to the left and I'm going to motion Thielen over and then my last tip once again is do not turbo in the backfield do not hold down sprint until you are in the open field and your blocks have developed if you do hold sprint too early then you're going to outrun your blockers you're not going to get good blocking and you're going to get tackled in the backfield almost every time so here we're running this stretch you see I'm not holding down sprint I, I read my blocks I did only get a gain of five could have been a lot more but once again I don't have the best stick but it is just about making a read here one more time I'm going to run it out to the right, motion Thielen out, hopefully get a decent block, nothing really there, cut it back, another gain of four or five, guys. It's the run game, all right? It's nitty-gritty, ground and pound. If you're getting four or five yards every time, you are winning, especially in Madden 20. This one, run to the left, motion Thielen over. I actually don't look, to look like the look to the left there, so I'm going to flip the play, run it to the right, and I'm not going to motion anybody over. And this, this is kind of the chess match that the run game is in Madden 20. You see, I, I let my blocks develop and then got another big game, guys. It's that simple. Now we're going to get into the pass plays. And as I said in my last two parts, guys, the Oakland book has really good run plays and really good pass plays. So what you want to do is establish this run and make them stop your run, okay? If they're coming out in big dime 146 and you're trying to pass the ball, that's on you. You're going to lose the game, okay? If, the, if they're in big dime 146, they want you to pass the ball because that's where big dime uh, succeeds the most, all right? So make them get in a run-stopping defense. Make them worried about your run game, and then you can air it out on them. The one play I like more than any play, this is probably my favorite pass play in the book right now is this play um pa sprint halfback flat all right this is what the play art looks like base now the hot routes i make it depends on where i am on the field if i am on the left hash like i said i only run this formation flip so i'm only gonna have my receivers on the right if i'm on the left hash meaning my receivers are on the wide side of the field that's when i like to run this play the most all right so the things you're gonna do here you're gonna put your tight end on a delay fade as always you're gonna put your running back on a wheel route and then like I said, you want Thielen with slot apprentice, your circle receiver. You're going to put him on a corner route, and then Diggs is on a great post route. This post route is really, really nice. But what you're going to do is you're going to smart route it, which means you press triangle, go to Diggs, which is square, and the smart route is R1. That's going to make the, the post a little bit shorter. He's going to break at 10 yards instead of 12 yards. And that makes a big difference when you're throwing it across the middle because he's going to be able to catch it in front of the safeties. He's not going to he's not going to run into the safeties as fast when you're making that read. So I'll go over the setup again one more time for you guys. If you're running to the wide side of the field, you're going to put your tight end on a delay fade. 
your running back on a wheel route, Thielen, your slot receiver on a corner route, and you're going to do smart route, the outside receiver. That is what the play looks like. Your read progression is going to be as follows. You're going to motion Thielen out and motion hike it when he's at the number. So right there, I motion hike it. You see, that's my first read, Thielen. And then your second read is going to be the wheel route. If they cover Thielen, your uh, wheel route will almost guarantee to be open. Okay, so once again, I'll set it up. There's the play. I'll show you the reason this works so well. Well, that was man coverage. I'm going I'm to run something else like a cover three. See that, see, that just shows you. If they run man coverage or something like that, the motion high corner route is going to absolutely destroy it. All right, here you see I switched to a cover two invert. And so I'm going to do the same uh, read progression. But I'm actually going to pretend like this guy is all the way out here covering Thielen. Okay, so I'm going to pretend like Leonard is able to get there, even though in, re in reality Thielen would get open. But let's just pretend. The reason it's so good is you motion it out. And if he actually is covering Thielen, that's going to leave the flats wide open. Because what's going to cover that corner is a curl flat or a cloud flat of some kind. And if they're all the way back covering the corner on the sideline, then that flat is going to be wide open open. Now the reason this works well, like I said guys, it's this corner route. You motion him out, so he's running this corner route all the way from the numbers, basically as an outside receiver. This causes the flat route to really have to get out wide. When he gets out wide like that, you see he's leaving this zone completely open. So basically you're making, you're stressing this guy. You're either, he's either going to cover the corner or he's going to cover the wheel route. He can't cover both. And that's basically what you're making a read on. That's going to require user attention. And when the user comes over here, that's when this post route is going to be butt naked wide open. If you're playing somebody who blitzes heavy, it's even better. Because you're blocking seven, you're going to pick up most blitzes with that. And a lot of people are going to use her this deep zone over here. Because they see that your tight end is not really running a route. And when they see that, they're going to come over here and try to get some extra zonage help over there. And that's when this post is going to cut all the way across the field. And that's where you can bomb them deep. So this is pretty much my favorite setup, guys. It's really, really difficult to stop. Even the top-ranked players can't really stop it if you're making a good read. So as you can see right there, the corner route looked like it was going to be covered. Everybody's kind of playing off, and that left the wheel route wide open. And if you inside lead, inside pass lead that wheel route, let me set up this play one more time. Inside pass lead, what I, what I mean by say that is when you go to pass the ball, like pass lead it all the way to the inside, it's going to be a guaranteed completion almost every time. All right? This is like a cover two. So even there, I got five yards because it was a cover two and almost everything was covered. And I still inside pass lead that wheel route and it was good. I'm going to call it one more time. Just doing some random coverage for you guys to show you guys. Post is going to be open. Inside pass lead once again. Possession catch. Easy dot for 15 to 20. So that is how I like to run this pass play to the wide side of the field. To the short side of the field, let's say I'm on this hash right here. We're gonna run it a little bit differently. So we're gonna do PA sprint, halfback fly. It's gonna be the exact same setup, literally the exact same setup. Except now you see, because the wide side of the field is to the left, the running back on the wheel go, goes to the left. And then what you're gonna do is motion Thielen over this way. And motion high get there. And if it's a cover two like it is, you can pass lead weight on him to get behind the cloud flat like I just did there. Got a gain of about 30, or I could have threw it to the threw it to the wheel route. Or I could have thrown to the post once again, guys. Literally everything's open on this. Uh, a user can't cover everywhere. And if you guys think I'm just saying that, like I run this online and it's really effective. If you guys saw Poison in my last game, the number one ranked Madden player right now in Mutt, he was running this scheme. And, and you saw how dominant it is. Like here, possession catch over the middle. That was another cover too. Easy dot. Like I'm telling you, everything is pretty much open. So you're just going to see where the user goes and make a read based on that. Now this is on top of the run plays I showed you. I don't want you guys running this play every single down. So I already told you, if I'm running stretch, and I'm running to the left, I'm already probably gonna be motioning Thielen over, all right? So this guy might see that motion, he goes, oh my God, he's running stretch, he's running stretch, he's running stretch. Little does he know, then I hike it, Thielen takes off on a corner route. All right, so that's what makes this scheme so effective is your opponent's gonna have no idea what you're doing. Now, obviously, where you're gonna get beat is if you if you run the same thing every time. If you run the same thing every time, this guy could probably sit in a cover two and, and shut it down. But that's not gonna be what you're doing because you're not an idiot, okay? I'm telling you, you're not an idiot. Here, that looks like a cover three. Easy dot to Thielen, perfect. Now, guys, if all else fails on this play, if your corner's not open, if your wheel route's not open, your post isn't open, you still have the check and release from your tight end. So don't forget that, that is your safety valve 
if there is nothing open and usually that will be good for another big gain. Now the final play is PA spot and frankly I don't really run this play that often. A way you can run it and again I kind of got this from Poison from watching his stream but another way you can run this is if you motion over Thielen instead of putting him on that corner you're gonna put you're gonna run the play like this all right and a lot of times this is gonna get open right over the middle just like that and so that that's another way you can run it to mix things up I personally don't really run that that often um, but something you saw Poison do against me as I go back to this other play I'm gonna run it the same setup uh, nothing was open and he has playmaker on his quarterback in Mutt so what he did is motion this guy out drop back nothing was open playmaker the wheel route you saw I'm gonna show you in the replay but you saw that playmaker how it worked if you're in Mutt that's gonna work a lot different so let's say this is like man cover something ran back let's say it was covered he your playmaker is gonna get this wheel route coming across the field and then if you got escape artists and all that stuff you can make plays happen with that too it's pretty glitchy you guys saw it in my video if you did watch that but this scheme may not seem as high powered as some of the other formations I've released just because it's not like one play touchdowns and stuff like that but I promise you this stuff is crazy glitchy especially when you mix it in with the strong close I released last week and then the I form close as well. And on top of that, I still have two more parts to go in this ebook. But guys, don't forget, you can audible to any of these formations. So if they're like giving you a look you don't like out of this uh, I form close flex, you audible down to strong close, you audible down to I form close, all this other stuff I've taught you so far, you can all continue to use that and keep your opponent guessing. So this is not something that's gonna be easy to just pick up and get in. I recommend you lab this, run it online until you feel comfortable with it. And I guarantee you, you will be successful. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. We got part four coming out, hopefully later this week. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to not keep you guys waiting anymore. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it out for you guys. Uh, and then part five the week after that. So if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.